Hi guys and welcome back to season 4 episode 19 of the Dancing Dolls and this is the episode that I was waiting for OMG because I was so ready for Brittany and Coach Diana to talk and they finally got to talk. Of course she took Christiana back because she doesn't blame a child for adult decisions. I'm so happy because I was worried that for a minute I thought that she was but anyway she didn't. But she is going to punish Brittany by telling her she can't be on the premises. And Brittany feeling some kind of way like she don't think it's fair. But Brittany, you need to think about it. You accomplished what you set out to do. You wanted to hurt her and you hurt her. That's it. I mean, what what do you want? You knew how she, you know how she is and you knew how she was before you did it. And I mean, it was a low blow. You went way below the belt. I mean... You was wrong for what you did, and you got to be punished. This is how she going to punish you. But now, one thing I didn't agree with, Diana talking about, she going to let Brittany be at the competition. Let me tell you something. Let me, wherever my kid is, that's where I'm going to be. Now, you can't tell me I can't come to the competition to support my child now. That's overstepping it. That's going too far. You, 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 you out of bounds with that one. You don't, you, you, you don't, dad. That's like your son being at something. And because somebody don't like you, they tell you, you can't go support your son. Now, Diana, how would you feel about that? Now, you're going to have to file back. You're going to have to check yourself on some things. Everything else, I agree with you on. But that right there, I don't play by my kids now. So, I don't agree with that. She made the wrong decision, true enough. But let's not get stupid. So, anyway, it's always good to see Kayla. What I would like to see Kayla do is go to school for like business or something of that nature. Business, man. Even if she don't want to do a four-year business program, at least do a two-year like um, business management, business technology, something where she can run her own business. The reason I didn't say go to business for dads because there's too many people in the industry that's making a professional living and they didn't go to school for dance. She can take classes on her own to focus on uh particular or specific styles of dance to get better at because she's already pretty good but she can she can self-study to get better i feel like and then what's selena uh talking about and she knows she better stop playing um saying um uh, Chris, christiana back and nobody gonna say anything <laughs> Which, if you want somebody to say something, why don't you say something? I think not because you don't want to get your kids kicked off the team. So why you want somebody else to say something and get kicked off? Why you talking out the side of your neck talking crazy? At the end of the day, Christiana is back. She has a chemistry with everybody on that team. And she is a veteran. And the Dancing Dolls is her home. And she is there. So they can shut up about it. I also want to say I'm proud of Kayla for trying to start her own dance company. I just feel like, what's his name? Tori was trying to get rid of her from the beginning just by little things he going to do. He always talking about he trying to support her and help her. But at the same time, you undermindedly like low-key going to tell all the time where somebody can get in tr trouble and be disciplined. And I didn't like that about him. But anyway, so this week, um, they're going to be in competition with the Champagne Girls, Black Eyes, and the Divas of Olive Branch. Um, she let Christiana be captain, and I, I'm glad she did because I think now that Christiana has proven that she is captain's material and that she can bring it. And, you know, I don't think it was a good idea for her to leave, but at the same time, I think Brittany did accomplish what she set out to accomplish outside of her nana, and that was to let Christian let it, she had to put Christian in, in a position where it pushed her outside her comfort zone and made her try harder because I'm gonna be honest with you I feel like if she hadn't never sent her over to the De uh, Divas of Olive Branch she wouldn't have done as well as she did and pushed herself as hard as she did to prove herself to Coach D that she can be good. And I think that she needed to do that. Because she had got too comfortable. At the dolls. Though. Brittany made a bad decision. 
it turned out for the best for everybody involved for Christiana because it pushed her and for Coach D because it allowed her to see what all Christiana is capable of because she was kind of being overshadowed. But this made Christiana have to step up and see she can't sit back in those shadows and be comfortable with that. That she it, it was more in her that she had that she needed to bring out. But anyway... I wouldn't suggest everybody go do it. I don't think everybody need to say, well, now I need to run and do it. I need to go do it. Uh, I need to go do it and all that kind of stuff because it's not going to work. It worked this time because the, in this situation, it was something that needed to happen. But it's not going to work. It's not going to happen again. It's not going to happen for It's not going to work for anybody else. I need somebody to tell me why Tanisha... Feeling all in her feelings about Christiana being back and being captain. First off, um, now you see how everybody else felt when when Princess come walking in. She wasn't a dancing doll veteran. She come from another team. It was people that should have been a captain, um, or not a captain, but should have been a, had a solo. But your daughter had it. Now you see how they felt. But Christiana, sweetie, she a veteran. Just because she was gone for a handful of weeks. Don't mean that she should start back at the bottom. Your daughter didn't start at the bottom. Why you want somebody that's been there since they was old enough to walk come start at the bottom? Girl, bye. You better get over yourself. You, you, your mind not right. If you think somebody that's been there from the beginning, well, since they began dancing, was only gone for a handful of weeks. Gonna come back and just sit and be that. Your daughter didn't. Why you want somebody else, especially somebody that's been there? I don't know what, what you was thinking. But anyway, um, Ridney, uh, I'm glad she finally did try to sit down and talk to Diana and express her apologies to Diana and all of that kind of stuff. I hope by the next episode she back because, like Mimi said, the disrespect from these parents now to the, the original DDP parents is beyond disrespect. And the fact that, for me, the fact that Selena is just like some little lap dog and how she turns on the other parents, I don't care for it. I don't like unloyal people. I don't trust people like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I need Ritney back. <laughs> it would be, I wish Tina could be back, but I need Ritney back. And I'm going to be honest with you, I really hope, at the same time, I kind of hope Kayla is back up with the dolls. But I feel like she's going to have to stand on her own and prove the type of coach she is and be successful first. Just kind of like this situation with Christiana, I think Kayla's going to have to do the same thing because, honey, toward I mean, uh, he low-key was trying to throw... Kayla under the bus at every turn he had. He tried to help her at some points, but at the same time, he wasn't trying to help her, if you get what I'm saying. He was going to help her be under him and make sure she didn't succeed to do no better. But anyway, I was concerned about this thing that Diana wanted to do with Neva, and the reason being, when it comes to Neva, Diane, Diana, she... If I've been saying her name wrong, I'm sorry. Diana, she she tends to fall out of character. Um, she lo loses her professionalism and her sense when it comes to Neva. And sometimes Quincy, but mainly when it comes to Neva. She gets, I don't know, she just... <clears throat> she just loses, I don't know, all control of her senses. But it worked out good. Um... I, like I said, when they had that one battle when one of them was putting the other down the commode, the other one was being a horse, the judges was kind of got upset and was like, you know, there was enough and how disappointed them they were. So I was a little worried about Diana going overboard this time. But, um, which the horse situation, everything was about her, but I didn't know how to judges was going to perceive it. I was hoping it was good, which it turned out to be good, and I'm so glad that it did. They went in there and showed out Christiana, all the girls. Now, this is the kind of dancing I expected in the last show, in the last episode, in episode um, 18. 
instead of the jungle routine. But I see now they had to save it up for, <laughs> for this routine. But they went in, they killed it, they did it. And I was glad to finally see them do a clean sweep because they needed that. But, I, you know, is it a coincidence that they hadn't won anything since Christiana been gone? Like, did it throw off their chemistry that bad? Or if it wasn't a co coincidence that they really just haven't won? So, I don't know. Oh, and one other thing. When um, Ritney and Diana was talking, Diana said something that was real true. Every time something ain't going Ritney's way, she can't up, get mad, up, jump, and run. Because I'm going to be honest with you, as a parent that has raised three kids and now has three college kids, you are not setting a good example for that child. You teaching her that everything in life, if it ain't going her way, she can jump up and run. And that's not okay. You don't need to be instilling that type of behavior in her in her get mad leave that's not something you want to instill in, in her what you need to instill in her but sometimes the, the going is gonna get tough but you need to hang in there because it's gonna come through if she had you got your trust in god anyway everything on the team gonna work out great anyway so there's no reason to up and run or whatever so um, Diana had a valid point. I think Ritney is just a good person. I think she like most of us, especially like myself, just got anger problems and she lets it get, get the best of her. But I'm going to tell you something, Miss Ritney. I don't like no petty, being no petty angry because I'm going to tell you, pe being petty angry, that messes you up for life because it makes you make bad decisions and burn bridges that you can't always cross. You can't go back and repair. You don't need to do that because it can mess you up in life like bad. So you got to stop doing that. I know I'm speaking from experience. So anyway, this was a really good episode. I cannot wait to see the rest of the episodes and I will see y'all in the next video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, comment, and all that good stuff. Later.